Well, my book cookbook is called Seven Fires. It's the souvenir of my childhood, and it has to do with the roots of Argentine cooking and the seven techniques we use of fire for cooking outdoors, which are cooking a cauldron over flames, cooking in a griddle, cooking on a grill, a bit like in America, cooking on a plancha, which is cooking on a cast iron sort of big skillet, cooking a curanto, which is cooking in a pit with hot stones, cooking in a wood oven, eh, and cooking in ashes, which is called rescoldo. Well, first it's, it's, it's the romance of being outside, eh, the happiness of being out with a stick and a huge fire, and it's a language. Fire is a language of friendship. Eh, it's a it's a language that is inside of us long before we were born and it has a lot to do with our country. Sometimes when I think that if there's something that gets all of America together, I think it's fire. I imagine myself high in the Andes in the mountains looking over into the north and seeing hundreds of fires lit by Indians and natives. And it's very important to our culture and I, I really got back into it because I think it talks for itself. There's a lot of similarities between Texas and Argentina. You know, the open countryside, the cowboys and the gauchos, this language of silence, of being outside, it, our history. Um, I think it's a wonderful country, um, an incredible state. I, I, I found a lot of romance in Texas, in traditions, in the knowledge passed over generations and that is sort of guarded uh, with, with a lot of pride. Well, it depends on my company, the time of the year, the hour of the day. Am I going to have lunch under a tree, sitting on a piece of grass, or will I be sitting in a beautiful table with incredible plates? You know, I think that the beauty about cooking and eating is the only reason to do it is friendship is to food and wine enhances our conversation our perception our intelligence so that's what i like